Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today we're talking about New Street Research's recent upgrade to their Tesla stock price target which is now a street high of $578 per share. As I'm recording this, early morning on Thursday, Tesla stock is around $400, $435 per share. So this price target of $578 per share implies about a 30-35% upside. $140, $150 from here. So in this video, I'll go over a few key points from the research and share my thoughts and opinions on whether I believe it makes sense. So let's get into the video. But first, hey guys, if you live in the US and would like up to two free stocks valued up to $1,600 each, use the link in the description to Webull and deposit $100 in your account. Each of these stocks will be a minimum of $8 in value. So if you suck at math, that is a 16% ROI on 100 bucks. Not bad. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. And if anybody's wondering, I've been nibbling off a little bit of Tesla stock this week just in the form of fractional shares. As I mentioned recently, I sent myself broke buying Tesla stock in the lead up to and the fallout of battery invest today. But hey, I'm buying what I can as I can, just not a whole lot. And guys, just to be super clear to the 0.03% of people I've seen in the comment section recently who have a tendency, a habit, perhaps even a desire to infer, create and invent meaning where there is none. That's not investment advice. That's just one guy telling you what he's doing with his investments fancy that the whole point of this channel to share my investment thinking my investment reasoning and my investment decisions nothing more let's continue tesla a decade of hyper growth ahead upgrading to buy 578 dollar target price 7 october 2020 we initiated coverage on Tesla in May 2018 when the company was at a crossroad, about to become a fully-fledged, profitable premium car manufacturer. It is fair to say this perspective is not controversial anymore today, and the debate is now about what can happen beyond and above. Exciting times. We have done a ton of work on Tesla in recent weeks, to the point that we felt the need to reinitiate on the name. We have given it a fresh look from multiple angles, the addressable market, the competitive landscape and its upcoming evolution, both from incumbents and new entrants, price, cost and margin trajectories for Tesla, quantifying the energy storage opportunity, understanding how the street will value the stock going forward, etc. I think this can be summed up as we've done a lot more research into Tesla over the last few weeks following Battery Invest Day and realized the opportunity before them is absolutely colossal, far greater than we realized previously. There's no hope in hell of anybody catching up to Tesla anytime soon. Therefore, our price target is going up. Now, I don't want to jump the gun too much here. Actually, who am I kidding? Yes, I do. I love jumping the gun. Make a prediction about the future before the future. Then that future arrives and huh, what do you know? <laughs> I call it again. Here's another one of those moments. You can quote me on this. I suspect in the ensuing months, we're going to see many other firms, analyst firms on Wall Street coming out saying something to the effect of, in the lead up to or the aftermath of Battery Invest today, we took a second, deeper, more thorough, more comprehensive, broader and deeper look at Tesla and have realized, holy shit, things look amazing. We're upgrading the stock too. Let's look at the five key points from this research. One, an addressable market in excess of 20 million units already. Tesla addresses today the entire premium segment with high-end and mid-end sedan and SUV models. This is globally an 8 million unit market. In addition, Model 3 has clearly demonstrated drivers trade up to the Tesla brand with two thirds of buyers trading in non-premium cars, which represents an additional 12 million addressable market. Lastly, the Cybertruck addresses a 3 million unit global market. For those of you keeping score, Tesla so far has been permanently production constrained. There has been more demand for their products than they've been able to meet since their inception. And today, before we even factor in future unannounced products like a compact car, Model 2, van, etc., Tesla's total addressable market already today 20 million just based on the products they've already produced or announced and again more context this year tesla is likely to produce slash deliver around half a million vehicles 1 40th of their total addressable market just imagine if they had production of three five million vehicles per year how much of this existing 20 million unit market could tesla capture 20 percent 30 percent maybe more now i know this sounds incredibly bullish and ridiculous but not when you actually look at the quality of the products on offer. And this is an important point because as Tesla introduces new products like the $25,000 vehicle in two, three years time, their market is going to explode from 20 million to 30, 40, 50 plus million vehicles of total addressable market. And I dare say Tesla is going to get the lion's share. Number two, no credible competition on the horizon. I mean, I don't need to tell you guys that, but hey, let's read their research. 
It costs traditional OEMs $18,000 to electrify a car, which results in lost profits and electric models selling at an average $16,000 premium to ICE equivalents. By contrast, Tesla's cars sell for less than equivalent premium ICE competition. Traditional OEMs therefore cannot compete as long as they do not get to cost parity and they still are at least 5 years away. EV pure plays are flourishing and doing better, but won't have any competitive advantage to beat Tesla. At best, they'll follow suit the leading brand in its success, with less scale and less experience. Totally agree on all these points, and I just want to emphasize something. A lot of people don't understand that Teslas, in terms of the value, the cost, they're actually cheaper than their equivalent premium internal combustion engine competition. They're better and their better value. This is very important. Tesla is eating the lunch of BMW, Mercedes and Audi with the S, even the 3. And this is just the beginning. They're moving further and further down the food chain. Eventually, they're going to culminate with that $25,000 vehicle in two or three years time. Then it is absolutely game over. 3. Hyper growth and margin expansion. Only the ramp of production capacity limits Tesla's growth in at least the next five years, and we expect virtually no pressure on prices, leading to expanding margins. This means Tesla, as it stands today, will become the largest and most profitable premium car manufacturer in 2026. That's a pretty big call, implying that Tesla in 2026 will go on to become the world's largest and most profitable premium vehicle manufacturer. However, I don't think this is unreasonable. In fact, to be honest, I think they might reel this target in even earlier than that. Again, we're just talking about premium automotive manufacturers, not the entire market. By 2026, I've no doubt Tesla is going to be producing multiple millions of vehicles per year and selling every single one of them with 25 to 30% gross margins, in my opinion. And we know that long term, Tesla is aiming for around 20 million vehicles per year. So by that stage, they're going to be the world's largest automotive manufacturer Period. And that's not including any of the other components of their business, just their vehicle business, world's largest within the decade. 4. Even more beyond. Before 2025, Tesla's addressable market will have quadrupled in volume with lower priced cars. The energy storage opportunity will have matured, representing a $750 billion addressable market. This means Tesla will be even larger and still in hyper growth mode. It's worth taking a step back just to let this one sink in. Now, I've been mentioning I've been buying Tesla stock with every spare cent that I have. I have a long term investment horizon, 10 plus years, okay? I've said this 4 trillion times at least, maybe 5 trillion. And why am I talking about a 10 plus year investment horizon? Because like New Street Research, I firmly believe that in five plus years time, Tesla is still going to be in hyper growth mode. They're on top of two absolutely enormous burgeoning new industries and they're leading the charge. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> uh... Anyway, the point is Tesla has pole position in the EV industry and the battery energy storage industry and it's only just getting started. This is why in many years time, Tesla is still going to be demonstrating enormous, unprecedented rates of growth despite being an absolute monstrosity of a company. This is why I'm so excited about Tesla. You know, most companies can grow revenue from 1 million to 5 million to 20 million to 50 million to 100 million to a billion. Then it starts getting very, very, very difficult. 1 billion to 10 billion, huge, enormous, colossal effort. 10 billion to 100 billion, who does that? Almost nobody. A hundred billion to a trillion? Absurd. And this is exactly the point. This is why I continue to invest so heavily in Tesla now with a long-term time horizon. Because I can see their path and their plan to get to a trillion plus in revenue this decade. And this isn't the deluded fanboyish hopes, wishes and dreams of a moron who has no connection or tether to reality. This is somebody who sat down, looked at the numbers, looked at the industries, done some projections and realized Tesla is going to take an enormous chunk of the EV market, an enormous enormous chunk of the battery storage market and an enormous chunk of the energy distribution market via auto bit of software which still everyone is asleep on. And the fifth point, an interesting comparison between Tesla stock and Amazon stock. 50 to 100 times multiple until further notice. Amazon has traded in the 50 to 100 times earning range for over a decade and we expect Tesla to follow suit. With the existing car opportunity only, we model $16 earnings per share in 2026, justifying a $1,200 stock price at the end of 2025. Just for context, ARK Invest's previous price target of $7,000 per share for Tesla stock before the split now split adjusted is $1,400 per share for 2025. So New Street Research at $1,200 per share in 2025 are pretty close to ARK's previous 
baseline case. We are buyers of the stock in the next 12 months below 578, i.e. 84 times our 2022 earnings per share forecast. At this price, the stock would still deliver 20% per annum returns until 2025. We see strong catalysts for the stock as expectations for next year are at least 20% too low. I wholeheartedly agree that expectations for next year and beyond are far too low. In fact, just the other day, JP Moron came out with a $75 price target and an estimate that Tesla will deliver about 768,000 vehicles in 2022. Now, maybe the person that wrote that was, you know, hanging out with Mary Jane like I tend to do and made a mistake and were actually referring to 2021 delivery estimates. That would be about right, in my opinion, but they cannot possibly be serious if they think in 2022 Tesla is going to deliver a mere 750, 760 or so thousand vehicles. Wall Street's still completely off the mark. They've missed every freaking quarter. I mean, come on. I mean, Wall Street, guys, seriously, if you continually miss estimates to the downside, consistently making the same mistake in the same direction, isn't it time to take a step back and reassess your process? Because clearly it's broken as fuck. I applaud New Street Research for taking the time to reassess their position on Tesla and hey, they've been quite bullish on the stock already so it's not like they've completely flipped their position but they've gone a little bit deeper, looked at the opportunity in front of Tesla, reassessed and upgraded their Tesla stock price target and I highly recommend the other Wall Street analysts out there consider doing likewise. Take a step back, look a little bit deeper and try to understand, have we missed something? Because that spoiler alert, you have. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan, this is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget your free stocks with Webull and Stake using the links below. Open a new Webull account, deposit $100 and you'll get two free stocks valued up to $1,600. And Stake, spin the roulette wheel, you'll either get Nike, GoPro or Dropbox. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.